ஓாராயணம் குணை சர்வே உதீணம் தோஷவர்ஜிதம் நேயம் கம்யம் குருஷாபி நூத்தார்த்தமுச்சதே ஓம் லெட் அஸ் கண்டம்ப்ளேட் ஆன் டீச்சிங்ஸ் ஆஃப் பிரம்மசூத்ர ஆர் பிரம்மசூத்ர பாஷ்யம் ஓம் அதாத்தோ பிரம்ம ஜிஜாசா ஓம் in last talk we contemplate on the meaning of atha which means auspiciousness which means thereafter later so in thereafter later we realize that the qualification required for brahma sutra bhashya study is knowledge of vedanta vedanta consists of upanishad and bhagavad gita this is the qualification required so what may what qualifies somebody to study vedanta if you have to go to college the qualification required is sslc if you have to go to ss high school the qualification required is seventh standard pass so what qualifies somebody to study vedanta so that is actually called sampattu sampattu means the wealth somebody should have wealth this is not money okay this is actually what you call as shat sampat six wealth shama dama titiksha uparati shraddha samada these are the mental qualities these are called shat sampat shama means calmness of the mind dava means control of sense organs uparati means the desire to know the higher truth titiksha means ability to withstand the pain and not getting disturbed by pain and pressure samadhana balanced state of mind and shraddha means faith in the teachings of upanishad and the guru so this is called shat sampat a man may have lot of money and wealth but inner wealth is required the inner quality is required these inner qualities are called shat sampat so these shat sampats qualify somebody for study of vedanta then the person should have the ability ability called the mental ability so in in nowadays when you go for somebody job somebody goes for a job the test is ability okay what you call aptitude uh, what you call the numerical ability and different types of ability so here one type of ability is required for a person it's called nitya anitya viveka somebody should be able to discriminate between this uh, the, what is eternal and what is temporary okay so purpose of vedanta is to search for the eternal the brahman which is beyond time and space eternal reality so for search for that somebody should have a intellect which is sharp enough to discriminate between what is eternal and what is not eternal what is temporary okay it's called nitya anitya viveka it's also another ability is required called atma anatma viveka you have to be able to grasp what is the self and what is non self atma anatma viveka nitya anitya viveka this is the only qualification required okay but how many people possess this a person may be brightest of bright scholar okay he may be very intelligent in the matters of the world he may may have made he may he may have a uh, big uh, great qualifications but they are all related to objective world we are speaking about the subject atma anatma 
nitya anitya this discrimination is required this discrimination can be done only with a sharpened intellect so this is the qualification required for study of vedanta so what is the qualification required for study of vedanta shat sampatti shama dama pratiksha uparati shraddha samadana and ability to discriminate nitya anitya viveka atma anatma viveka viveka means wisdom discrimination and what is the effect of discrimination the effect of discrimination nitya anitya what is eternal and what is temporary so once you discriminate your mind always goes and stays with the eternal it doesn't run after the temporary right everything in the world is temporary change is the law of nature your body changes the mind changes intellect changes so the change is temporary people who don't have nitya anitya viveka they chase the temporary for sake of happiness and the misery or sorrow follows because they are chasing something which is not possible in life there is nothing permanent possible in life permanent possible in the world so nitya anitya viveka and atma anatma viveka who am i what is myself this understanding is required so these two viveka leads to vairagya or detachment the detachment is not detachment doesn't come by force detachment doesn't come by pressure detachment comes by real discrimination for example somebody is fond of sweets and he goes to the doctor and doctor is telling you have diabetes by eating sweet the side effects of diabetes you will have so then he understands it then he is able to detach from sweets if possible so detachment or vairagya is a result of discrimination vairagya is not a independent thing vairagya is vairagya follows vivek so a person who is speak now we have understood the entire qualification required for study of brahma sutra for study of brahma sutra vedanta gnana is required which is upanishad and bhagavad gita for vedanta gnana what is qualification required there should be inner qualities called shat sampatti shama dama titiksha uparati shraddha samadana mumukshatva and the intelligence which is which has the ability to discriminate between the real and unreal which is what we call as nitya anitya and uh, atma anatma so these are the qualifications which prepare somebody for study of brahma sutra is the qualification required clear so the first adhikarana or first sutra tells you jidnas adhikarana means who is qualified it's a pre qualification for study of brahma sutra 